Hello everyone, my name is Oliver, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing Hacknet, a game that will be teaching us how to hack into computers. I have previously never hacked a computer. I am a law-abiding citizen. I don't, I don't think hacking is legal, but what do I know? I've never done it. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to be playing a very different game from what we normally play on this channel because I got I got briefly bored of Animal Jam, so we're taking a short break. We're going to be playing some random games. We're just going where the wind takes us. And also, these sunglasses make me feel absolutely badass. <laughs> it's a it's a whole different it's a whole different new glasses, new me. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let us boot up the game. What am I doing? <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna boot up the game. Let's get into it. Alright, we are in the game. I'm gonna turn it down a little there. Let's do new session. Okay. Hacker user registration. Um, Details confirmed. Okay, press enter to confirm. I did something. Eh? Oh! Ooh. I can't read. <laughs> I don't think there's anything important in there, though. <laughs> Fourteen day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Ooh. Hi. This is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Ooh. Initializing. Loading modules. Complete. Loading nodes. Complete. I don't know how to say that. Tutorial. Okay. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Okay. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal. Is Where's that? Oh, hey, that's me. Um... Connect to your own computer on the map by clicking the green circle. Okay, so this is me. Um, good work. The first thing to do on any system is scan it for adjacent nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map that you can use. Scan this computer now by pressing the scan network button on the display module. Uh, eh? That should be all you need from your server for now. Disconnect from your machine. Um, it's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting in the... I need my glasses. One minute. Alright. Oh, that's ten million times better. Okay, where were we? Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal. Under blah blah blah. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking the blue node on the network map. Okay. This is VM's terminal module. Or no, this VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating. Command can be run by typing it out, press enter. Computer security system and open ports can be analyzed using the probe command. Analyze the computer you're currently connected to. Uh... instructions <laughs> okay 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 here you can see the active ports active security and the number of open ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack 
This machine has no active security, requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to, it is possible to crack this computer using the program Port Hack. Run the program Port Hack. Uh, there's a hint. To run a program you own on the machine you're connected to, type the name of the program as the terminal command. The program name will never require .exe. Okay. Aha! Okay, I did something. I did something. I Congratulations, you have taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it, however, you should start by scanning for local nodes to locate additional computers. Use this doing the scan command. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, no, there's no results. Not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. List the files and folders in the current directory using the ls command. Okay, so... Oh, okay, okay. Navigate to the bin folder to search for useful... Uh, I can't read that word. Executables? I butchered that for sure. Using the command cd folder name. Okay, note the space. So, cd bracket bin? Let's try that. Invalid path. Oh, I need, do I need to mm. slash bin? No. Can I just click it? I am the best at overthinking things, okay? To view the contents of the current folder you are in, use the command ls. There are no programs here, but you should look at config.txt in case it contains useful information. Uh, reading data without permission is illegal. Mm -hmm. Catconfig.txt. Try that. Aha! Yes. Totally useless! <laughs> Totally useless. Totally useless. Now clear your tracks before you leave. Move up a folder in the directory tree using cd dot dot. Note the wildcard dot dot indicates back or up. cd dot dot. Huh? Move to the log folder. Okay, let's go to the log folder. Delete all the files in this directory. You can delete a file using command rm bracket file name. However, you can delete all the files in the current directory with the command rm star. Note the wildcard star indicates all. I have now emptied something. Excellent work disconnect from this computer using the DC or disconnect command. Disconnect. Cool! Congratulations, you have completed the guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. The help command will give you a complete command list at any time. The command PS will list the PID of every current. Oh, 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 um, wait, hang on, hang on, kill, bracket, one, nine, six, oh my god, ugh, I was not cut out for the life of a criminal, oh my god, so now we have this, first contact, oh, it's, it's the person from the intro. Okay, hi, I don't know you, and I'm sad to say I never will, but if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now, I'm trapped. There's no way out and not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster, the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node. It should be green on your net map. 
Then find and delete securitytracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. Hurry. Bit. Note. Hacknet Navigation Guide. Use the display module or the command cd folder name and, the, and cat fo file name to navigate and read files. Delete files using rm file name. The tab key can be used to autocomplete commands and file names. Alright, okay, so... I can click this now. Uh, view file system. It was in bin. So I can do... Which one was it? RM Security Tracer. Oh, I used the wrong thing. Hang on. Oh, I can't go back. Security Tracer. File Security Tracer. Details deleted secure Send. All right, we got another email. Getting some tools together. Great, that should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Oh God, my own computer could have not been safe. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone isn't going to cut it on most modern computers you'll find. Not once with anything worth looking at, anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful I know. He's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of the useful codes. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. You can, for the most part, ignore the generic files, stuff that gets logged or saved by the program, such as IRC logs and the like. Custom named things like .exe files are what you want to look out for. Download any files you can using the command SCP. <gasps> SCP, sorry. <laughs> Good luck. Reply again when you're done. Bit. Link. Viper Battle Station. <laughs> this guy's a nerd, isn't he? Security system probe. Okay, so I need this guy's like PS Jmail Starship. Okay, okay. So we need to get to this guy. View file system. Insufficient privileges. Okay. Uh probe system. Okay. Uh break active security. Whoa! What is that? What is that? Password found. Oh dang. Oh dang. <laughs> okay, view file system. These are just generic. Oh god, oh. Mm -hmm. Just um uh, 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 uh. The 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 email did say to do that. That to look for EXE files. So let's try sure it said you don't have to, but like maybe they're wrong. <sighs> yes it does! It does exist! It does exist! I'm just stupid. I am just stupid. Because that is clearly what we need. Right there. 
I typed it exactly like it is. What am I doing wrong? Ah! Okay. Mm. Not enough arguments. Okay, so I, I need the file name. That is the file name. That is the that that is the gosh dang file name is SSH crack. And it, I am SSH cracking my head at the wall trying to figure out how I get this file. Yes, it does. Yes, it literally does. Oh my god, I am just beating my head against the wall. It is a few hours later, and upon having delved into the depths of YouTube, I have, I, I believe that I have figured out what I have done wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot the game and see if I have, in fact, found the problem. So apparently, it was actually a syntax error. I believe what I'm supposed to do is simply put that. No? There we go. It was the brackets. The stupid, stupid brackets was my problem with that. My god. Okay. Let's... There we go. And it said to reply when we're done. So. Alright, we got something new. Made in flight. Congratulations. I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder. But if you're seeing this, it means you are... Or you at least found something. I'm gonna assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had that sort of thing, he's known. If Viper had that sort of thing, he's known for getting lying around. You should have everything you need to get in. Remember, any non-basic programs you need to get a port number to run, like this. SSH crack twenty-two file name port. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to autocomplete commands, hitting SSH, and then tab should autocomplete to fill it to the full name. Works for everything. Good luck. Note, security basics guide. Use probe to open to see what ports, or use probe to see what ports are open. Target one with a program and target the correct port i.e. SSH crack 22 file name port number. Breaking sufficient ports leaves the target vulnerable to a security breach using port hack. Oh, okay, so we go here, probe the system, and then let's try that. Ah, uh, I don't want to close notes. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. It needs to be able to have this. Okay. All right. So, wait. What if I just go port hack from here? Oh, I just needed one. I just, I see. Open ports required for crack one. Okay, I, I, I got it now. I got it now. I didn't need to do any other ones. But if I, I'm feeling that if I did do another one first, it would have let me. All right, so now we're in. So let's view the file. What are we looking for here? What are we looking for here? Um, it's not telling me what we need now that we are here. Let's just look at some files. Let's just look at some files. Let's be nosy. Empty, empty. Storm Raider, I should bomb something. And it's just off the cuff remarks like that, that are the reason I don't log chats. Just in case the FBI ever needs anything on me. And I'm sure they can just get in and get it from someone who does log chats. FBI has joined the game! <laughs> Hashtag GameCube Cafe. FBI, we saw it anyway. FBI has quit IRC. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pause for a second, and I'm gonna go look at the tutorial because I'm totally lost. I'm not smart enough for this. 
All right, I have decided after much searching around that I am simply going to reply, even though I haven't, you know, found anything I feel like I'm supposed to take and just see if this will point us in the right direction. All right, something in return. Nice work. Here's where it's gonna start getting harder. Oh. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I'm gonna ask a favor. Blech. A favor. I've been getting a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm perf I'm writing this down. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I prefer worked there. You should remember this. If you forget anything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there and RM star the whole thing. Never forget to. Thanks. Good luck. Note. Request details. Uh, I know this one, so I'm gonna leave that there. So, boop, we have a new one. All right. Probe system. There we go. That should get us in. Boom. That should get us in. P. Anderson's bedroom PC. All right. So, we're in here. Let's first scan the network. There's nothing else new. File system. Documents. All right. Is there any more cocoa? Oh, I have a few sips of cocoa left. Let's go. All right, let's go back to the email. All right. Where to from here? All right, if you see this, then you've done well, and well, that all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I've realized that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn. I don't have the time to do it. So I'm gonna need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy. Oh, wait, hang on. Entropy Asset Cash. Oh, here we go, okay. That's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells you open using the command shell, running on computers you've already got. Admin access should be able to overload it. P.S. I almost forgot. If you run into trouble, I've linked to the Network Education Archive Server too. It's got a lot of useful things on it. Okay, Network Education Archives, that's out here. Entropy test servers there. Proxy server intro, okay. Hang on, let's, let's first check this. Um, let's probe that. Proxy detected. So let's do that. Uh, proxy, I sorry, I have to do proxy first. Let's try with P. Anderson. goodness. I can't believe that didn't take me that long to figure out. You should be proud of me. Very. We're a real hacker now, boys. Yeah. Did I do it? Ah, genius. Okay. feeling very smart right now. Okay, entropy introduction. Congratulations, download this file to complete your introduction test. Entropy will be contacting you shortly. Okay, so I have to remember how to do that. RM. Oh! Well, that was not it. Um, I'm stupid. Okay, um, how do I undo that? Ah! <laughs> Is there an undo button? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm dumb. 
I saw a uh, thing on Steam. Hang on, we're gonna go over to Steam real quick. Oh. Uh -huh. uh... Well, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Is I am going to end the video here for now. Um, tomorrow I will be going through and playing the game up to that point. Looks like I'm just dumb, which <laughs> I will see you guys next time when I have or have fixed my mistake. <laughs> Bye.